So I'm just going to show you how to turn off a tire pressure monitoring system on an LZRS or an LZST. You would do this if you had a set of aftermarket wheels and you didn't swap over your pressure monitoring sensors or if you do a lot of track days and you swap wheels back and forth. Um, the only danger with this obviously is if you turn it off and you sell the car, make sure you tell the person you sell the car that you've done that, otherwise they'll have a flat and not realise and that would be very awkward for them. So it's pretty easy, you need to have four scans to do it um, and I'll run you through it. First thing when you're doing any form of programming, make sure the battery voltage is good so slap a battery charger on it first. Alright so I'm going to be using a Ford IES VCM because we have one because we use IES quite a fair bit. You can use an EL ELM cable as well. Uh, you should pull this down, switch the sides, put that out of the way. It gives you access to OBD2 port. Just plug it in and then we'll plug it into the laptop. All right, so plug your VCM or ELM cable into your laptop. You want to make sure your ignition's on and just open up four scan. You want to connect to vehicle, which is this one down here. Sometimes it takes a while, let it do its thing. Up to you, you can save the profile. I never bother, you just click no. Now you want to go over to the left hand side to Configuration and Programming, you want to click Central Configuration, Main, and you want to hit this play button. This is just a reminder, make sure you've got a battery charger connected. Turn the ignition off and it tells you to. Alright, so this is giving us access to all our configuration. You want to scroll down and you're looking for tire pressure monitoring system. It's about a third of the way down. There you go. Right there, highlight it. Click edit selected. And we're in Australia, so this comes with the EU regs. I believe there's some law to do with the EU where you have to have it enabled, but in Australia you don't, so we don't care. And you just want to tell it without monitoring system, press the tick, and now you want to click right. You want to check it's your old value and your new value, press the tick again, put the ignition on, click OK. It's just telling you to remind you you've got a battery charger on it. Press OK. The ignition off and then back on. And that's it. You're done.